all over the planet, looked up at the same stars, and found different pictures there. We use this gift for recognizing patterns in nature to read the calendar in the sky. The messages written in the stars told our forefathers and mothers when to camp and when to move on. When the migratory herds and when the rains and the cold would come and when they would cease for a time. When they observed the direct connection between the motions of the stars and the seasonal cycles of life on Earth, they concluded naturally that what happens up there must be directed at us down here. It makes sense, right? If the sky was a calendar, somebody stuck a post-it note on top of it. What else could it be but a message? And so when the heavenly order was suddenly violated by the apparition of a comet in the sky, they took it personally. Can we really blame them? Back then, they had no other logical explanation for what was happening. This was long before anyone had yet to imagine Earth as a spinning planet with a tilted axis revolving around the sun. Every ancient human culture made the same mistake. The comet must be a message sent by the gods or one particular god. And almost invariably, our ancestors concluded the news was not good. It didn't matter if you were an ancient Aztec, Anglo-Saxon, Babylonian, Hindu, Comets were portents of doom. The only difference among them was the precise nature of the coming disaster. Disaster, as in the Greek word for bad star. To the Maasai of East Africa, a comet meant famine. To the Sulu in the South, it meant war. To the Igat people of the West, it meant disease. To the Jaga of Zaire, specifically smallpox. To their neighbors, the Luba, a comet foretold the death of a leader. The ancient Chinese were remarkably systematic. Starting in roughly 1400 BC, they began recording and cataloging the apparitions of comets. A three-tailed comet meant calamity for the state. A four-tailed comet signified an epidemic was coming. The human talent for pattern recognition is a two-edged sword we're especially good at finding patterns, even when they aren't really there. Something known as false pattern recognition. We hunger for significance, for signs that our personal existence is of special meaning to the universe. To that end, we're all too eager to deceive ourselves and others, to discern a sacred image in a grilled cheese sandwich or find a divine warning in a comet. Today, we know exactly where comets come from and what they're made of. 